New Zealand's South Island gets all the glory. Most people will tell you the South Island is better than the North. This season, we're gonna show you why we have fallen in love with the North Island. Today, we take you to the Far East Cape, where we explore and see what's hiding in the seldom visited section of the North Island. When you research places to visit in New Zealand, you come across places like Rotorua, Bay of Islands, Coromandel, Taupo, Waitomo, but what about this Far East section? There's not a whole lot of information out there on it. Why is that? Is it because there isn't much to do or see out there that's worth the drive? Or are there other tourist attractions overshadowing this section of New Zealand? Our goal this weekend is to figure it out. We're going to be moving quickly. We don't have a whole lot of time. Our first stop takes us three hours out of Auckland to Rotorua where we'll spend our first night. In Rotorua for night one, we pulled in around 11 o'clock at night and we found a spot which was cool. And we woke up and all of a sudden there's a market behind us, so we're gonna go get some donuts. Let's go get some donuts. Rotorua is one of our favorite spots in New Zealand. We're super excited to spend some time here before we head out. Donuts make it a fantastic start to our trip. Donut bucket. You see, there's 30. Callie said she wants how many? How many do you want, honey? Okay, so that means 28 for me. Right? 28? How many I does that leave for you, Hobie? Um, if Daddy has 28, Hallie has two. One. No, leaves you with zero. Cindy's trying to get in. Uh, okay. But we don't want to let her in, then she'll eat all our donuts. Fine. Should we let her in? No. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's open. No, uh, Henry let you in. We yeah. started out of here. I, donut party. Donut party. Donut party? Donut party? Yeah. Oh. Can I come? Let me know what you think of this one. Hobie, do you think that donut making machine would fit inside the van? Um, if we put it in the back? Donut machine? You're gonna have to go for a 12 mile run every day. I need a bigger van, I think. That's the only problem. After a little playtime at the playground, we hit the road for our next stop. I just love Rotorua. There's like steam coming off everywhere and you smell the rotten egg smell. I just love Rotorua. So we're going to Kerosene Creek. It's a hot um, thermal hot river. Ah, there's steam over there. Oh. Okay, so we're going to Kerosene Creek. It's a thermal hot river. It's free. And we've been there before, absolutely loved it. It was like our first New Zealand adventure and we were so excited to be going back. Yay! Just a reminder, if you are going to a thermal hot pool area, keep your head above water. Um, there's such a thing as brain-eating amoebas, although super rare, it is possible. Um, and they enter through your nose, so safe thing is just to keep your head above water. Rotorua has such a magical and special feel to it. It's a volcanic area. You get steam everywhere. It smells like rotten eggs. You find these rivers that are heated from the geothermic activity. There's also all sorts of geothermic parks you can visit. We went to Waiatapu Geothermal Wonderland last time. We got a bunch of monkeys!
Most people tend to swim by the big waterfall. We have a secret spot downriver. If you take the trail down a bit further, you come to another awesome spot. A little slice of paradise all to ourselves. We just love it here. It makes our family so happy. Uh, every time we go, we always stay longer than anybody else. Um, we really like it. It's hard to get out, especially when it's cold. We just want to stay forever. We are leaving Harrison Creek. An awesome time. We are headed east. It's now about nap time, so we're hoping Henry and Hallie will take a nap and we'll have a nice peaceful drive. See what we can find along the way. Maybe we'll stop, maybe we'll go. Who knows? All right, we're heading into the woods. We're looking for some cave drawings. Maybe a treasure map. We didn't make it too far down the road before our next stop. We should be able to find some ancient Maori carvings here. Hi. <laughs> Into the deep dark jungle. Look at that. It's like a canoe and it's half moss. What is, how do you say canoe in Maori? Um, waka. It looks like it's about like a, it kind of looks like a treasure map. Moana, what are you seeing here? Uh -uh. What's that bird? <laughs> Where do you think the treasure is based off of the clues we saw? Um, on water somewhere. Somewhere off the water? Oh, because they had the wakas in there? And which way was it, were the wakas going? I think the lock is we're going that way, so let's go that way too. Yeah, let's go that way. See if we can find the treasure. Unfortunately, we found no treasure today. Oh! It's for me. It's for me. It's for me. Hey, Joey, check it out. Pig Dog Training School. About three hours away is our next campsite, right on the beach. We made it to our campsite for the night. Not bad, private, just us here. Hobie's got a new plan. What's Hobie's new plan? We're gonna rest some marshmallows on the beach. Oh really? Yeah. So, Get, fire. We're gonna start a fire. Get the lighter. Where's our fire pit? Right here. Dad. Looks promising. Got the lighter. Dad, light it over here. I don't know guys. Might be a challenge. We've got to figure out what burns well, what doesn't. All right, Cindy came and started the fire for us. You just needed some drier kidling, thinner kidling. What do you think, Hallie girl? What's kidling? Kidling is like the really small firewood that you need. Something I miss uh, from camping in the U.S. is all the campfires. Typically, you can't have campfires here but you can here at this point on the beach and this is almost cooler than having a campfire at a campsite. Can you able to do it on the beach? What do you think, Henry? Good. Real good? Mm -hmm. Is it warm? Yes. Do we have marshmallows? Yeah. That is like the most exciting thing. We have not roasted marshmallows in forever. It's been since we moved here, which has been like, I don't know. Eight months. Got the sound of the waves too. Nobody around. Yeah. Hallie, we're gonna roast those. Hallie, no waves. I've got a few longer sticks. Oh, no. oh, marshmallow down. When you start to see it steam, like Kerosene Creek, that's when you know it's done. How do these ones roast compared to the ones in the States? Marshmallows here are more dense, 
so they're pretty dense when roasted, but still very tasty. Do you like it? Do you roast like marshmallows? Do you like it hot or cold? This is bed now. Okay, and why don't you take us to the upper level? The upstairs. Take the camera up there. This is bed mode up here. Come on. Ellie sleeps right here. Take I it sleep to your spot. Right here. Show the camera where you sleep, Hallie. Oh. One of the children sleeps right there. Last night was so fun. I want to stay here again. We're heading around the most easternly part of the North Island. I think they call it the Horn. Essentially the Horn. Um, don't know what we're going to find. I don't know if there's a whole lot out here, but we thought we would explore it. Um, the weather hasn't been too bad. I thought it was going to be freezing cold. I brought so many layers for the kids, but it hasn't been too bad. So today is all about the journey, not the destination. We had a few ideas of places we could possibly check out, but it's all about exploring today. Hey, Daddy. What do you think of the tree? Good. That's good. Do you like it? It's pretty close enough. <laughs> we have stopped about halfway through the horns for lunch. Um, Henry is missing. We don't know where Henry is. He's definitely not in the back seat of the van hiding under all the blankets. We're gonna continue on around and hopefully find some other cool spots to stop. We saw this really cool tree. Um, it was like all twisty and stuff and I think it would have been an awesome climbing tree had it not said do not climb. Did we find Henry? Where's Henry, Hallie? Outside. In the rain? We got some horses on the road. What? Horses. We got an hawk right there too. Guys, I can see all I see them now. Oh my. But how did they get out? Part of the adventure in New Zealand is driving around. You never know exactly what you're going to see. There are surprises around every corner, whether it be an animal, scary one lane road, crazy dirt road. It's magical. And the scenery never gets old. And Chris is always on the search for good waves. You're now entering the jungle. How many is that, Hobie? I'm at 29. Like 30? Get in there. We had no idea it would be this far. Although the hike up to the lighthouse was longer than expected, it was worth it. The view up there of the East Cape was spectacular. Our next stop takes us down the road some more to Tokomaru Ghost Town. It was a fun spot to explore. We always find it interesting to explore old places and ruins. You never know what you're going to find. All right. We're at the front of Ghost Town. All right, you lead the way. Are you sure you want to go in there? On our way out, we saw a huge crowd of trucks and dead animals in them. We think there must have been some sort of hunting event going on. 
After our long day of exploring, we found a campsite and called it a night. We are in Gisborne. We stayed about 10, 15 minutes out of the city last night at a really cool place next to the beach. It rained and rained and it was so windy. We ended up all cuddling down in the bottom bunk. Gisborne looked like a cool city. We would have loved to stay and explore, but we had to keep moving. It's the last day of our trip and we need to make it all the way back to Auckland today. We're good, fresh. I love oranges. A big reason for this adventure was so we could make it to the Riri Rock Slide. It's like a big water slide you can go down on your bodyboard. After seeing the waterfall, we had a bad feeling that the rock slide would not be safe. We were feeling really bummed, but thought we would continue on and check it out anyway. But while we were driving, we had the most magical moment. Oh my gosh, guys, this is crazy. Hi guys. Dogs. Yeah, they're helping herd the sheep. Unfortunately, there was a massive amount of rain last night and it's just a little too crazy. So we're going to check it out and hopefully make it back here someday. If not, we're going to count our blessings and be thankful for what we have gotten to experience. Mom, what are we good enough to do? <laughs> I don't know. It looks a little intense, Hobie. Super duper fun, but definitely not today. If you were to go down that, I think it'd take you all the way down the river. If I don't make it, tell my parents I love them. Oh, Chris. Although we were super bummed about the rock slide, we had a great adventure and it was time to head home. So pretty through here. So, the big question we're left with, is the East Cape worth the drive? It's been a while since the boys have been able to bodyboard. They are so excited! The East Cape is the North Island's forgotten corner. There's no tourism hype or world famous attraction. Visiting the East Cape takes time. It's a slow road and uncrowded. The pace over here is slow. For someone who has a limited time and budget, it may not be the place for you. But for us, it was worth the adventure. We loved the solitude, the quietness, all the animals alongside the road. We really cherish these times we get to spend together. We made memories and grew together as a family. A great adventure, and we look forward to what's to come next. Join us next time as we take you to the West Coast on a very muddy adventure. Special shout out to the Adventure family. Thank you for commenting. Please subscribe so we can take you on our next adventure. Click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. This season is gonna be good.